Interrupt briefly because we're learning some breaking news right now. This is from Dallas, Texas. Dallas police now confirming reports of shots fired in the baggage claim area at Dallas Love Field. They are evacuating the terminal. We want to show you right now an Instagram video that was just posted. Take a look. Everybody needs to go to Again, we're getting a small piece of video right now that's showing as the shots were fired there at Dallas Love Field, just about seven miles outside of downtown Dallas. I want to get right to my colleague, NBC correspondent Tom Costello. He's live in our Washington newsroom right now. Tom, I know we're just getting a little bit of information. What more can you tell us about this uh, shooting that just took place? The terminal is on lockdown, at least the baggage carousel area is on lockdown. It would certainly appear that this occurred just outside of the baggage claim area there at Love Field. Uh, the uh, PIO, the public information officer for the airport, says uh, they are en route at this hour. I count nine shots in total there, Peter, as it, as it plays out according to this Instagram video. And we have multiple tweets and reports that there has been a shooting there at the airport. It would appear that this was an officer-involved shooting. Uh, at the airport that the officer confronted a suspect or was chasing a suspect and they ended right there at the curb in front of the baggage carousel and then shots rang out. You can see uh, an officer screaming at a suspect to get down, then four shots are fired, then two, and then a few more. The officer there wearing the, uh, it looks like a lime green kind of a, a, a shirt or a top. Uh, some of these people are walking up to see what's going on. You can see he still has his gun pointed at the suspect yeah. and then fires more shots as he is screaming for the suspect to get down. Uh, we don't know why this individual was uh, had a confrontation with police or why they approached him. We don't know if there was a chase that began and then ended at that location. But whatever happened ended violently right there at Love Field uh, midday with nine shots ringing out. We're we're told now one individual is en route to the hospital. It would appear from the video only, and I stress that, it would appear from the video only that whoever was injured or has been shot would be a suspect and not a police officer. But that is the extent of the information we have at this moment as we continue to gather, Peter. Yeah, what's always made this a big concern for law enforcement, of course, is when you're outside the security zones at airports, anybody can be carrying whatever weapons they like, certainly at a baggage claim area where many people are greeting uh, loved ones as they return home, where people are trying to find vehicles to leave that site. Do we have any better understanding of the injuries? Do we know whether those injuries were suffered by the person who the officer was pursuing, or is there any better understanding of exactly who it was that was injured here? I'm afraid we don't, Peter, and maybe I'll tell you, we're all going, uh, at this moment, we're all eyewitnesses to this incident via the Instagram. Why don't we just replay this video one more time without us talking? You can hear the screaming, you can hear the sound of the bullets being fired. Why don't we play that from the top? Everybody needs to go to the So that's it. Those are the, I count nine shots. You can hear the police officer screaming, get down, get down. Other people saying what's going on. And as this video continues to play out, other officers arrive on the scene and tell everybody to get back. And you can see that officer uh, is still, still has his weapon drawn. Um, you know, what I find interesting, Peter, is that uh, the, whatever was transpiring, and we can't see it because it's blocked by that wall, whatever was transpiring, even after he was screaming, uh, get down, even after the shots were fired, for whatever reason, he felt the need to continue firing. Was it whether that suspect had a weapon, whether he or she was moving, we simply don't know. But all of this happened uh, just within the past hour or so, and police officers rushing to the scene to back up the officer who had to fire his weapon for whatever reason. Again, on our screen right now, we're looking at live pictures on the right-hand side of the screen as we play that video from just a matter of minutes ago. On the left, this scene, this shooting taking place at Dallas Love Field 
airport for people that are familiar with the Dallas area. This is a, a much more easily accessible airport um, than DFW itself is, a smaller airport just outside of downtown Dallas. And Tom, as we talk about this, I want to get a sense from you about law enforcement concerns. Obviously, overseas, the concern of terror has, as we witnessed most recently in Belgium, has been a terror attack taking place in areas where individuals can walk in outside of security. This, at least at this time, doesn't appear to be anything that is terrorism related, although we wait for more details. What are the concerns for law enforcement as they try to secure areas like airports that in many ways are soft targets, even in a situation like this where a person with a weapon could conceivably cause some serious harm? Yeah, and by the way, the tweets right now are saying, for example, uh, we are safe and unfolded right in front of me, grabbed my son and ran. Uh, these are the types of tweets that are unfolding. You know, there is, as you talk to security personnel about airport security, they will tell you that they try to take a curb to cockpit approach. In other words, it's not just what happens at the TSA checkpoint and beyond. It's what happens the moment you arrive at an airport and that there should be a layer of security, whether that's the airport police on the ground, whether it's surveillance, its cameras, whether it's just the totality of the entire security picture, including dogs, etc. All of that plays into uh, plays into their total approach to airport security. But they will also tell you that that you know the 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 soft side of security, if you will, the soft target remains very much what happens uh, on the perimeter before you're actually into and past the checkpoint. And the concern all along has been, you know, what would happen if there was any sort of an attack uh, before the security checkpoint in other words right here on the uh, curb now we don't know if this is in any way related to terrorism if this is a suspect wanted in another uh, crime or if there was a confrontation with police for whatever reason or if they were chasing the suspect we don't have that information at this point there is one tweet suggesting that the police may have been chasing a vehicle and that it ended right there at the at the field but we are still awaiting more information to learn exactly what happened and how how it all went down What's striking as we look at that video that was just taken, you can see courtesy of Brian Armstrong, he just happened, it appears to have his camera rolling or he saw something beginning to play out and turned his camera on. That's what's changed in this era, obviously. Everybody carrying a cell phone, which is in fact a video camera that allows us to see episodes like this. We hope this was just an isolated incident and that nobody else was injured. Again, Dallas uh, Fire and Rescue are telling us at this time that one person has been injured and is being transported to a nearby hospital there at Dallas Love Field. No more details specifically about that individual. Tom, obviously in situations like this, and we're still learning a lot more information clearly about this one as it just happened, other airports quickly get put on alert in case this is something that they should worry about as well. Again, we hope this is just an isolated incident, but uh, have you heard anything even at this early hour about potentially an impact at other airports that are shutting down or at least doing anything precautionary as well. I don't have that. I don't have that at, the, at this moment suggesting that it was anything other than that, that than an isolated incident. We have no uh, indications from the TSA that there is anything of concern beyond what has happened at Dallas Love Field, and they're still efforting uh, as much understanding of what happened as possible. But this, you know, it's probably worth repeating that at the airport, the, uh, the armed officers are not TSA. Uh, at every airport in the country, the armed officers are airport police, very often hired by or, the, or, or contracted out through the city or the county. In other words, these are certified city or state law enforcement officers. They're not security and they're not the TSA. So if, a, if an officer has a gun, he or she is a law enforcement officer, usually representing uh, the city uh, or the airport authority. So one would suspect that in this case, that is what we're dealing with here. Uh, an airport officer or a city police officer felt the need to to draw his weapon and fire right there at Love Field. By the way, Love Field, of course, not the busiest airport in Dallas. DFW is the busiest, but Love Field is a very, very uh, busy, you might call it more of a commuter airport in that it services mostly Southwest Airlines, and it is an important hub for Southwest, of course, in the Southwest and throughout Texas. 
And right now I'm looking at the Dallas uh, News website. This is the Dallas Morning News website that is reporting an officer involved shooting is what prompted this lockdown that took place just uh, within this last hour at Dallas Love Field Airport. We are told that officers responded at roughly 12.20 p.m. That would be exactly 30 minutes ago with their guns drawn. We've played this video. You heard the shots fired, nine, perhaps 10 shots and all fired as at least one uh, authority was seen yelling for somebody to stay down. At this time, we're trying to get a better understanding of exactly what has happened. We know that the baggage claim area remains closed, um, but at least according to the Dallas Morning News website, other parts of Dallas Love Field Airport at this hour have remained open.